Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's easy cardio exercises. And I will be using a light pair of dumbbells with this workout today. All right, let's get warmed up here. Just a gentle little march with the legs, crisscrossing the arms in front. We'll start off nice and slowly and we'll gradually make these arms bigger. Great. Keep going now. That's it. Now let's make the arms a little bit bigger. Bring them up over your head if you don't mind doing that in the warm up. That'll increase the heart rate that little bit more for you. Now we've 11 exercises today and we are going to repeat them for two rounds. And one of the exercises is the wall ball. So if you want to, you can have a heavier weight for that one. You can do it with two lighter weights, that's fine. But I just find that if you hold one heavier dumbbell, not too heavy, you, it actually just, it's, it kind of feels like you're holding a ball in your hand as opposed to holding two separate dumbbells. Let's count this out. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Now step out to the side and switch. Punch down, punch it down, good. Now be nice and strong with the punches here. Let's get those muscles engaged. Step and step. You can go up a little higher now. As you go through your warm up, you can make the moves bigger and up over the head to increase that heart rate. Now I'm working with a sequence of 12 seconds just to transition between each move and 48 to do the actual work. You can decrease that work time if you want or increase it depending on how you're feeling. That's good. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now let's march on the spot. Good. Now really drive the knees up and pump those arms. Really bring the knees right up towards your belly button. Keep the back nice and flat. Drive the elbows back. Great. Now crisscross in front. Keep the legs doing the same thing. Nice big moves. Drawing those shoulder blades gently there behind you to engage those posture muscles. That's it. Good. Pull back. Ten to go. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Take it into some nice rainbow legs here. So some hip openers, keeping the hip bones facing the front. And nice big semicircle there with the knee. That's it, good. Keep your balance. Now you can put your hands out to the side if you feel it helps with balance, that's fine. Now what I want you to do is, here is, if you in, engage your abdominal muscles here, so again, that just means gently pulling the pelvic floor muscles up and in, and at the same time, pulling your belly button towards your spine. So if you do that simultaneously, you're gonna lock in those muscles around the hips, and it stops all this rotation. We don't want that rotation. Keep them facing to the front. Do another four, three, two. Now line at the feet and we're going to side lunge it or sidestep it if you feel lunging is a little bit too intense for your warm up. See how you go with it. Side lunge. If you want to get down a little deeper, you have to bend that knee a little deeper. It's not the chest falling forward, it's the butt going down to the floor. That's it, good. And over. Drop your hips, that's it, good, keep going. You can use your hands in prayer position in front. That just helps, to, it encourages to keep that chin upright. Even if you touch your thumbs there, just underneath your chin, it stops this falling forward. Sit that bottom down. And down. Line up the feet, switch sides. Drop your hips. And just give me four. You're getting a little further as you go through that sequence there. Last two. And last one. Let's get a bit of life into those hamstrings. Kick forward. Kick. Kick. You can use the arms there. Swing by your side. Be strong with them. 
and they'll help to counterbalance the body. So kick forward, kick. Now the higher you kick, the more of a pull you'll feel on the back of your leg, and that's your hamstring. But if you find it's knocking your balance, just stay down low and kick. Kick it forward. Kick it and kick. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If feeling like a nice torso stretch, sink down a little bit and reach. Tiny little seat and reach. And then you can speed it up a little bit and reach corners of the room. Let's just think about your tailbone heading to the floor here. Again, rather than your chest falling forward, chest is up, look forward, find that big spot in front of you. And push, and push out. Good, come on, keep going. So get the heart rate up, you can feel it coming up now with this. Last 10, nine, eight, and that's what we're looking for. That's the sign of a good warm up. Four, three, two, and one. Let's do some ankle rotations. We'll find that balance. Again, engaging that pelvic floor muscle and then pulling in the abdominals, your transverses. Your transverses is a muscle group that wraps around the front and the back, a little bit like a corset. And when you draw your belly button into your spine, you're engaging the transversus abdominis. Let's switch feet that really locks everything in and keeps the spine very stable. And we go the other way. Oh, it feels nice to get those ankles warmed up as well. A few little calf raises will be go down well. You continue on with calf raises and I'll just show you the first move and we'll start. Okay, so we're going into a side lunge, bicep curl, side lunge. Okay, then we'll head into rainbow legs. Right, let's go with it. Have fun. 12 seconds to get ready. Now this is cardio weights, so apart from that wall ball, don't go too heavy. You don't want to overwhelm the muscles. Right, now we're nice and warm here for side lunging. Okay, we sure are. And curl it. Hold the side. You might be able to get down deep after those nice lunges we did in the warm up and across, sit the hips down, curl. Keep the elbows tucked in there for your biceps, bicep curls, and down, and curl. And curl. Drop down, I'm gonna say drop down, tailbone down, chest high, look forward, find that fixed spot. Keep going, curl. We have rainbow legs next. Great upper and lower body exercise. You feel the upper half working really hard, with it, especially with weights. Okay, so get the knee raises first, and then you're gonna draw a rainbow over your head. Now you can join me now to get more work time or take that rest if you need it, or take a further few seconds in the rest period if that's required as well. Whew, feel the heart rate coming up here already. Good. Just imagine you're drawing a big rainbow over your head here. Keep the weights away from your face. And even with light weights, this is quite challenging. Don't lean back. Keep a nice flat, straight spine. Again, engaging the tummy muscles will help out there a, big, uh, a great deal. Come on, we can do it. Exercise two, feeling the burn. Last few seconds. Good work, you're great, great to get through that one. All right, we're going to just sit down, reach up. This is a real ballistic, bouncy exercise that's really gonna work the butt, the legs, the abdominals, and the upper half. Now again, nice straight spine, don't round the shoulders, so I don't want to see you doing that. Okay, stick the bum out behind you, let your bottom lead and punch out the ceiling. Push it out, good. Come on, you can go faster if you want to. 
Really get that heart rate up, get that heart pumping. Down, up, but only if your technique remains good. So you don't want to make, just make sure that your technique doesn't get uh, sloppy or that. Reach up and reach up. Okay, now we have one, two, and then we're going to do uh, two uppercuts. Okay, so nice full body exercise. One, two, up and up. One, two, curl it, curl it. One, two, and curl. Curl, come on, this is great for the abdominals and your upper body. Driving that knee across. Do a little crunch there for the tummy, that's it. One, two, down, down. The wall ball is next. I'm gonna head up to one heavier dub dumbbell for that. So like I was saying earlier on, it makes you feel like you're actually holding a ball in your hand and one and two now okay and if you haven't got one handy just stay with your two dumbbells you can even do a body weight so same technique applies here hips down fire off that dumbbell obviously we're not going to let go of a dumbbell but if you had a ball and you were next to a wall that's the actual exercise you throw it to the wall and you catch it now you can speed it up but again, as long as your technique remains um, good technique, okay? Breathe it out, breathe in. Drop. You really feel the legs, the butt working here and the shoulders, no doubt. Sit down, leg curls are next, upright row. Working those posture muscles in the next exercise. Last one. Oh, that's a burn. Especially when you go up in that weight. Okay. Now, leg curl. So just getting the legs to curl, the heel to curl to the bum. That's it. And then upright row. Now, keep a little gap between the two weights. That takes a little bit of pressure off the collarbone there at the front kick kick and kick try your best to get your heel up towards your butt cheeks there and kick it out and again you can go as fast as you like here if you're feeling very energetic today take up that pace a little bit if you're feeling lethargic just slow it down and maybe even try some of them body weight come on we can do it nearly there Two pendulums next, and then two bent leg pendulums. Okay. So, we're going to do one, two. You march it out there if you're having a little break. Join me here if you want what longer work time. Bend down if you want for the second two. Okay. One. So you can stay upright for the whole lot. Just do the first two if you find bending over is a little bit exhausting. Sit down. Because as you sit and as you stand, you are really working your lower half. One, two, stand upright and then down seated. Oh, you're feeling the burn. You feel those muscles in the lower half of the body. Sit down, out, out, stand up. Good, keep repeating it. Down. One, two, stand, one, and two. Well done. Now, more butt work. See if we haven't done enough now at this stage. Butt squeezes, and then we get the triceps going with this one. Push the arms back. Squeeze your bum cheeks. That's it. Now, I don't want you to fly your weights back, particularly if they're on the light side. I want you to really contract the back of your arms. That's your tricep muscle group. And go slowly here, a little bit slower, and really feel how heavy the arms can be 
even with light weights. You can make light, weight, light weights feel heavy. Squeeze your bum cheeks. Just bend slightly at the waist here. Not too much though, you don't want to be looking at the floor. Look forward. Good, and push back, push back. Now we are really working that booty today. I am telling you, we are sitting down, back fly, standing up, and then just repeat. You can leave out the sit down and stand up portion and just do back flies if you want to. But I just thought, cardio weights here today. We'll get these bouncy ballistic moves going. That's it. Sit down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together as those weights come up. That's it. Sit down. Back fly. Stand up. Just talk your way through it. Sit down. Back fly. Stand up. Down. Back fly. Stand up. Good. Really, really feeling the posture muscles working here, even with the lighter weights. And up, down, fly, and up. Last one, and stand tall. Lovely, that was a nice one. Now we're in exercise 10. We're step, touch, chest, press, push, down. All right, get the legs first while we wait for the beeper. There we go, chest. Push down, chest, push down, and down. Push forward, and down. Drive the weights down, that's it. And down, forward, and down. And again, take up the pace here if you want to. That's fine. Good. It depends how heavy your weights are as well. Sometimes I know you tell me you go a little bit heavier. I've got a kilogram each year, which is around approximately two pounds. I can, it still allows me to speed up a little bit, but not too heavy. That's it, go down. Really gets, you, gets the heart rate up a little bit more than body weight. All right, now last one, dive under as I saved. Another booty exercise for the last one, and then we repeat them again. So now keep your head up here. Just pretend you're going under a rope and you're really using your hips and your bum cheeks, your bottom there, your glutes to get under the rope. So use the weights as resistance. You can put them down if you find this one difficult. Now, if you find this one too hard, just step over, bend the knees slightly. Just do a little step over, introduce it to your body. That's it, good. And under, oh, this is, this is definitely a leg and a butt burner. Ooh, gets that heart rate up. We're working those big, big muscle groups. And under. Keep going, we're just there now and then we're back to exercise one. Well done, excellent job. Okay, side lunging, bicep curls. All right, let's get ready to go. Side lunge, bicep curl. Side lunge, bicep curl. And if you find lunging a little difficult, just step it out to the side like this. You don't want, you don't have to go into those full range of movements there. You can work up to that. And curl, and lunge, and curl. Side lunge and curl. Now with those rainbow legs next, your shoulders were probably feeling that round one. And curl it. And curl and let's get one more in. And there you go. Well done. All right, you can go for it if you want to do those big rainbow arms over the head or take a little moment to yourself. Get the legs going. Okay, knee, knee, over and over. Now, if you want to leave it at a little march and go over the head, if that helps your back a little bit more, keep the weights in front of your face here. That does stop you from leaning back. If you go really high over your head, you might lean back and you'll be putting your back, a little bit of strain on your back. That's it, 
That's good. Come on. We're trying to take up the pace around two. That's an option. Keep breathing now. Get that oxygen to flow around your body. Come on, we can do it. Drive that knee up. Feel the abdominals working here. Particularly if you're holding that core engagement for me. Well done. Okay, now we've got this nice bouncy move. Are you ready now for all the butt exercises coming up? Okay, down, reach, sit down, nice straight back, reach up, look forward, reach it up, sit down. Come on, keep going, get those weights right up to the ceiling for me. Nice long arms. Keep the body moving. That's it. Breathe out. Breathe in. Expel that air to get those weights above your head. Good. Breathe it in. Hold your breath. Breathe it out. That's it. Come on. Just a few more. And then we have our two knees across the body, two uppercuts. Last one. Well done. Excellent job. Okay, one, two, one, and two. Okay, you're ready to work those abs. Let's get ready, okay. One, two, one, and two. One, two, and one, and two. Drive that knee across. Elbow stays close to the rib cage there as you drive the dumbbells across your torso. One, two, one, and two. One, two, one, and two. Come on. One, and two. Are you feeling the abdominals been worked here today? One, and two, and last. One, let's get those uppercuts in. Well done, okay. Now let's go with the wall ball. All right, maybe this is an exercise you have done in the past. You, actually, you hold up an actual medicine ball, you sit your hips low, fire off. The, wall, the ball bounces off the wall, you catch it and repeat. Sit down and down. Sit the body down, push the weight up. It's amazing what you can do indoors if you just put your mind to it. You can simulate exercises that are done outdoors with different equipment. Keep that back nice and straight now. Let that the butt cheeks lead there. That's it, come on, fire off. Last few seconds. We're going to our leg curl, upright row. Last one, well done. Okay, shoulders are feeling that one. All right. Now we've got our leg curl. So, further work now for the posterior. All right, kick and kick. So these are really working the hamstrings. Now let's get our posture muscles, our trapezius and rhomboids involved. Kick, get that heel right up. You can speed it up here if you want to. That's just an option now, you don't have to do that. And up. And up, nice high elbows. Feel some work going on there behind, behind you there, in between your shoulder blades. And lift, now we have the two pendulum coming next, and two bent leg pendulum. Keep going. Last second or two, there we go. All right, how'd you get on with this one, round one? Now remember, you can stay upright like this. You don't have to sit down and go into those um, bends of the knee. All right, it's up to you there, see how you go. Sit down and lift and lift. Stand tall. It's great if you can sit yourself down, keeping that chest upright, because you are getting wonderful work for your legs and your, your butt. Okay, down, one, two, stand tall. 
One, two, sit down, lift and lift. You might find those ones where you're seated. Oops, one, two, a little tricky. It does require a good deal of hip mobility. You might find these ones easier. That's it, sit down, one and two and make your way up. Butt squeezes, are we ready for butt squeeze? Tricep push back, okay. Keep the feet moving if you're resting out here in between each exercise. Keeps the heart rate elevated. Right, squeeze, squeeze. Now push back. Let's make these light weights feel a little heavier. Contract those muscles in around that, the back of the arm and the shoulder. Try not to swing, take the swing out of it. Let the muscles work against gravity. And that makes the exercise feel a little harder. Squeeze your rear. And as always, I say with these butt exercises, hopefully you are feeling your con the contraction in your bum cheek, your butt cheek, and not your lower back. And push back, and last one. Now we're ready to work the rear again. So we're gonna sit down, sit yourself down, fly, stand up. You can experiment with what leg position suits you there. Sit the bum down, the bum is leading. A back fly, stand tall. More work for those posture muscles, it's great. Sit down, fly, stand tall. Sit down, fly, stand tall. Little squeeze of the butt cheeks as you come up, but don't lean yourself back. So a little squeeze, engaging the bum. Stand tall. Sit down, fly, stand tall. We get one more. Down, fly, and stand tall. Well done. Two moves left, step touch, chest press push down and then our dive unders. All right, finishing off with a bang here. All right, let's get those legs going. Chest, down, push away, down, and down. Come on, we can do this. And down. Again, go as fast as you want to here or slow it down if you need to. You can come off the spot as well. Great for your ankles, keeping them mobile, those little bones in your feet. It does require a little bit more coordination. So if you find that you're kind of losing the exercise, just stay on the spot and get used to each move first. Push and down, push forward and down, push forward and down. Well done. Whew. That got me breathing hard. All right, you're ready for dive unders. Now remember, just stay upright. If you find this, your legs are tired, your, your, your rear is tired at this stage, I don't blame you. Okay, sit your hips down if you're going with this version. You can stay low as well. That really, really cranks up that intensity if you stay down there. But if you need to come up, come up. That's fine. And under the rope, keep that chest up for me. Well done. We should be calling this the booty workout today. And under. And if you enjoyed today's workout, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That just lets me know that you did enjoy it. It also lets YouTube know you're enjoying the workouts too. And thank you so much in advance. And under, we are just there. Let's get two more in. And last one. Well done, there's my big dumbbell clap for you. Amazing, amazing work. All right, okay. Heart rate's up a little bit. If yours is too, let's bring it down. Add a few stretches. Okay, just take a moment. Those big exercises where you're using a lot of muscles in the lower half and in your backside and that really do crank up that heart rate. Let's take a moment now and stretch to the side. 
push those fingertips to the other door or the wall in your room. Good. And come back to the middle. As always, you're making sure you're still holding belly button to spine. Push to the other door or window or wall, whatever the case may be. Push. Feel that lovely stretch there. Feels really nice. That's lovely. Interlace the fingers. You might want to just experiment with your foot position there with this one. And what I'm doing here is I'm really engaging those pelvic floor muscles, drawing them in, up, and then drawing the belly button to the spine here. Okay, that's what I'm doing before I lift my arms above my head. If you do it regularly enough, it'll become automatic. That's it, reach right up, right up. That feels really good. Let's head to the floor now and we'll open up the hips a little bit. I want you to pretend there's a string on your bottom, push your hips back, walk out. If you have a, a coffee table and you find going to the floor with this one's a little tricky, try our coffee table or an ottoman, a little household step you can rest your hands on, even an exercise step you might have gathering dust in your house. So what I'm doing here is I'm really opening up the hips here and stretching the inner thighs and at the same time I'm giving my chest and the front of my shoulder a nice stretch as well. Now if you find this is difficult on your wrist. As I say, we always talk about forgotten body parts here. Let's switch around. You need a little break from this. Pause the video, stand up, pace the room for about 20 seconds or so and come back in. It is hard on the wrist, but here we talk about forgotten body parts a lot. And the wrists being one of them. But these exercises here will really help to strengthen, build up stamina in the wrist. Because you are asking your body to do a lot here. It's holding your body weight. Um, also as well, you can put it on a soft surface like a, a towel or an exercise mat. And then reach up again. That's it. Try not to let the leg sink. I always have to remind myself to <coughs> pick that leg up a little bit there. Now bring the two feet together. Walk your hands in. And if you have lots of time, repeat that a few times, maybe three, four times. I'm going to link up my longer cool downs for you. You'll find them in the description box below the video here. If you want to spend a little longer on your stretching and your mobility. Don't forget to drink your water, keep hydrated and allow your muscles to recover. And I will see you in the next workout. You did a great job. See you soon.